I'll try to summarize the plan that the judge has come up with. Number one, the judge will break or sever any lender's legal connection or legal claim to any specific property that you may have lent on. The lender who feels that they have legal claim on title for certain parcel or home or commercial building will not be able to execute that claim. Number two, I believe there's 138 properties that will be put into one asset bucket. All of the lenders or unit holders will be arranged into the, another bucket. The dollars from the property sales will proportionately be split out to all of the lenders according to the plan. If the plan is approved, and we don't know that at this time, that's how it will work. Number three, the dollars will be distributed quarterly as the real estate sales conclude. Number four, that the bankruptcy trust has at this time about $90 million in cash to distribute starting in December of 2018. Number five, the trust has a class action lawsuit against the FDIC bank that Shapiro used for some of these fraudulent real estate transactions, and that could result in significant funds coming into the trust for all of us to share. Number six, the trust will pursue assets from Shapiro and from Shapiro's family that they feel were involved in any of the frauds. This is the broad outline of the plan, but it all depends on the results of the ballot or the vote of the creditors. The ballot was due a few days ago, October 8th, and if you did not get it in, the judge will assume that your vote is in favor of the plan. So a non-vote is a yes vote.